Afternoon all, it's uh, approaching 5 o'clock and as you can see uh, we're not down the new water this week uh, been promising for a while uh, to try and get a bit of floater fishing on the camera and uh, if you cast your minds back or remember uh, the blogs I did uh, earlier this year in February uh, we're back down the, uh, the day ticket water and uh, there was a lot of work going on and as you can see this place has uh, dramatically changed uh, this bank where I did the um, the blog post from, uh, myself and Mark, you can see there in the distance. Um, the bank was way, way high and uh, the owner was in the process of uh, levelling it all off. And he stuck to his word and he's done an absolutely cracking job. There we go. There's the digger. Which has uh, done its job and created a fantastic... Uh, flush uh, peg and there's Mark and we've got a guest on this session there he is <laughs> afternoon and top fishing man <laughs> <laughs> there's Marcus looks great yep so uh, that's the plan today we're um, we're going to try and attempt to catch some off the surface so uh, you might hear the uh, the van door slamming in the back let's get the gear let's get down to the pegs and try and get some carp on camera hopefully off the surface and even the zig. There's a challenge for today. Zig and floater fishing. Catch you in a bit, folks. Okay then, uh, just set up the first rod, which is uh, the zig rod. Mark's gonna have a go on the floaters. Um, he's chucked a few mixers in, and as I'm talking to you now, uh, I can see one or two mouths coming up, so that looks good. Uh, as I say, today to get water, uh, just to repeat, uh, this is the water we fished back in February. Absolutely ram jammed with fish, there's a few upper 20s, uh, the majority of fish in here are um, low teens, uh, plenty of commons and mirrors and there's a few ghosties in here so uh, as you can see there that's the old ziggle liner, uh, yellow uh, body with a piece of red foam uh, and that one's set at about 8 foot so uh, that's my setup. Uh, I'm on the zigs, Mark's on the uh, on the floaters, it's a two rod limit on this lake so we're both going to fish bottom baits uh, nice easy fishing, short to medium range, keep a bit of bait going in the margin so hopefully we can cop a few in the margin a bit later so I'm going to get this in the pond and hopefully get some action Okay, okay folks, then, so uh, Mark's just uh, tacking up the floater Yep. and there goes the, the bleep on my receiver it's been, a, it's been a while since I've had a go um, on the, uh, the old dog biscuit but, isn't uh, it mate? we're going to give it a bash it's a bit overcast and a bit bit cool but I still think we can nail a couple. Yeah. There are a lot of fish in here so hopefully we should be able to pick one or two out. Hopefully uh, and hopefully we can get this ghosty on camera. The last 10 minutes we've been watching a ghosty slurping off the surface. Yeah it's and probably, probably a, possibly a double. And it's typical isn't it? I've got the camera out and he's disappeared. <laughs> He'll be back hopefully on the end of this line. I was just going to say mate hopefully on the bank. <laughs> That's it mate. So, uh, it's quite strange that the last um, visit we had here, I had very few ghost carp ever out of here really, in the years I've been fishing it, I had, I had a brace. Uh, are we in the same swims? We are, aren't we? Or we, have we just moved up one? I'm yeah, just trying to work it out. Because it looks that different since... Uh, it does since they've removed the bank, yeah. It's so much easier to fish now. Oh yeah, he's done a great job. Really has. Um, so hopefully the fish will do us a good job tonight. We'll, uh, we'll bank a few. I hope so, mate. It is quite late, We're getting on now a bit really. We are a bit late, but... Uh, just gone 10 to 6. So, you can normally score a few though. You certainly can mate, there's plenty of them in here. Hopefully this wind just drops down a bit though, because there's that ghost. Is see? Right. See? I'm just zooming in mate. You should just put his head out and have a dog whisky. There are a few having a go. Probably better standing up. Certainly, uh, likes them dog biscuits in here. Good. Oh, there we go. Look at him having a go over there. The old tail walker. God. Not like a dolphin. That's what we love about the place. Yeah. Right then. Just having a bit of a view around the lake. Not many people here tonight either, like it normally is. No, uh, 
Our mate who's, uh, who you saw on camera in the opening uh, sequence of this blog, he's uh, ventured on the other side of the lake. So hopefully he'll get a bend in his rod and we'll, we'll get some action and uh, thoughts off him a bit later. Um, as has Mark just said, there's uh, myself, Mark, uh, Mark's mate Anthony. There's a lad to the right of me. Uh, he just lost it, unfortunately. I think he's fishing tied to the island. Might uh, be the way to go. Yep, and uh, one lad uh, turned up about 10 minutes after us. So, uh, there ain't many on here, just the way we like it. Right, let's catch a car. That's a nice start, mate, on the floater. Yep, it didn't take long. It didn't, ten, did it? 10, 15 minutes, and he rattled off. Uh, six or seven? Yeah, something like that. Cracking Nick. Yeah, really good condition for this sort of a lake. Yeah. So, I'm anticipating you're going to have a few of these tonight, so I don't really think we're going to get every single one in the blog. Yeah, definitely, but we just thought, uh, nice clean one to start with, so we thought we'd... Yeah, yeah. obviously if we get anything half decent, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get some on. We'll get, yeah. we'll get some fish on, hopefully if you catch them all. do. But uh, great start. Yeah. So, sock on quarter past six, mate. First uh, one's second chuck in on the floater. Yeah. And he's off the mark. That's it. Well, that's what Mark's nice. using for his floaters, Baker's Meaty Meals. <laughs> and he's just had his second fish on the surface. I'm just going to come over it's, now. It's a skimmer bream. <laughs> I've never caught a fish, a, a bream off the top before. Never. <laughs> on a dog whiskey. Oh, there you go. Well, the hook's in there, you're about to come off, but... <laughs> what? Half a pound? Skimmer on the surface. Unbelievable. <laughs> Let's put him back. Sorry, mate, bream, bream are not allowed in the match. <laughs> so it's currently 1-0 uh, to the floaters. Versus the Sig, uh, the Sig, I mean, the Zig. No brem allowed. No. Well, 10 to 8. Um, appears to be uh, a lot of fizzing now. So hopefully, something's going to make it, uh, an appearance. Because <clears throat> uh, I'm quite uh, disappointed, really. This place is absolutely jammed around with fish and playing a bit hard to get at the moment. Just had a bleep then on the uh, zig. So yeah, been a bit cagey. So we're going to fish this uh, session right up till dusk. And hopefully they're going to switch on. Can't let Mark beat me in this flow too much. <laughs> First is Zig. He's currently one up. Bream don't count. <laughs> Bream on a floater, eh? So, uh, oh, and as I speak, he's in again. I don't know, Bream, that time, mate. Right, hopefully I'll nail it and we'll get it on the camera. Could this be 2-0? Or it'll be revealed. Right, fish number two of the session. Fish number two on the floater. Yep. And the biggest of the session so far. Yep, he's a right line. I'm right. going to give you 9 to £10 pound for that, yeah. mate. Yeah, 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 quite a... Quite a double, is it? He's a lively one. I think. Yeah, no. I don't think he um, wants to be picked up, so. No. I think we'll just. Um, okay, we'll have a good look at him down here. Let, so, uh, let him be. In the uh, floater versus uh, zig contest, Mr. Copson's two up. I'm edging it at the minute. You are, mate. And I just lost one a couple of minutes before that one, unfortunately. So. Hopefully, uh, they're going to come my way. <laughs> come on, Ziggy, do the busy. No monsters, but lovely fishing. No, no, it's not uh, nothing to the, um, the stamp we've been catching over the recent, what, 10, 11 weeks. Oh, is that the bottom bait rod yeah, then? Yeah, the bottom bait rod just had a bleep, so oh. we'll get it back. Yeah. And hopefully we'll get another So one. I mentioned okay. uh, Anthony, and he started off around the uh, other side of the lake. Uh, I got pestered by a load of idiots. Well, say no more. I'm not you on about, mate. But uh, you've come round here to a nice uh, 
quite a little spot, my mate. And uh, taking a leaf out of Mark's book and trying to nail one on the floater. Aye, just spotted a few coming up, so uh, just uh, cast the money. Great stuff, mate. Seems to have buggered off though, now. <laughs> Normally the way when you uh, spot a few, but there's plenty of them in here, mate. I keep saying that during this blog. So uh, hopefully you'll be uh, holding a nice uh, mineral common. First one for the season. Fingers crossed, mate. Just gone five past eight, so uh, hopefully tea time's just around the corner. Hope to see you in a bit, mate. I fancied you to get one, mate, and you have, and. Uh, but now this is an unusual one, the black eye common. Aye, <laughs> old black eye, first on, one of the season. Superb, on the floater. On the floater. Yeah, aye. on the old bakers. Old biscuits. Is it the uh, multi munch, is it, or meaty munch, something meaty like that? Meaty munch. I forgot what the... Uh... It's, uh, he don't look very big, but he's, uh, he's quite weighty for a... He's a, a well-built one. Yeah, about six, seven pound. Yep, about that. And as uh, I look over to my left, Mark has put the net under another one. I'm getting well and truly battered on the floaters. <laughs> <laughs> Floater Verti Zig, so on, on that score, that's 4 0. But uh, I'm chuffy, mate, I really am. Yep, and your move you. paid off. Aye. You got away from uh, some not very pleasant people to a nice secluded area. I tell ya, third session of the season and uh, first fish. Superb, mate. So, well chuffed. And there's plenty more time to get another Aye. one. Plenty more time, hopefully they keep coming. Chuffed, mate. Get it back, get that rod back Aye, in the water. Get it back in. 